Today we're going to review the Compact Action Tripod by Manfrotto. Quick introduction, I was looking for a travel tripod, so I was looking for something compact, light, on the cheap side, but still quite sturdy. And the compact action was the best solution I found online that could match those four requirements. I found this piece of gear on Amazon for 54 British pound, and you can also find the link of the item down in the description tab, where you can find the list actually of all the items and the gear I use for my vlogs and my professional videos. So let's start with the unboxing of the tripod. So there it is, that's how the Manfrotto Compact Action comes. This is the box, nice and compact, but I'll show you what you find inside too. The tripod comes in the usual Manfrotto padded bag. We'll also find some instructions manual with of course everything you need to know how to operate and open up the tripod. And also that's quite useful, it's a mount, it's an adapter for Sony cameras. It's actually curved so your Sony cameras can uh, fit nicely on top of the tripod. And that's actually it about the unboxing, there's not much else to see. Let's talk about the tripod and the specs. The material is aluminium, it's very light, the total weight is 1.2 kilograms. Again, it was one of the lightest tripods I found for traveling. It is a five sections legs, which means we're gonna have five different sections. One, two, three, four, five and that's how it looks like. I really like this system to close the legs because it's very quick as well. Just slide them in and you can close them at the same time, the four sections. So very handy once again. And then of course you have an extension at the center of the tripod. When the legs are closed, the total length of the tripod is 45.3 centimeters. But when you extend the four sections here, and also the central arm, you can reach a total length of 155 centimeters. I was actually afraid this tripod couldn't fit my height. I'm 180 centimeters whenever I film myself for vlogging or whatever, but actually 155 centimeters is enough uh, with the camera on top to be able to film myself. So if you are more or less as tall as I am, this tripod is actually good for you if you want to film yourself and the camera will actually be at the same level of your face. The Compact Action is a ball head tripod. Literally, you have a ball here inside the head that allows you to move the mount and the handle 360 degrees and also it allows you to pan and tilt around it. Of course, you can lock or loosen up the head with this wheel here in the front. If you rotate the wheel upward, then you're gonna lock the handle. If you pull it down, you're gonna unlock it and you're actually free to move around the ball. Also, on one of the side, you have a locking mode, which is actually a lever to switch between the photo mode and video mode. The difference between the two modes is that when you are in video mode, you can only tilt and pan your camera. But then when you switch to the photo mode, then you are completely free and you can also use the roll axis of the tripod. I think when you are in video mode, uh, it could be smooth enough if you have a bit of uh, uh, gentle touch to achieve smooth results, but I'm gonna try to film something and show some clips to you right now. I got this tripod to actually fit my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, but also my mirrorless, my Sony mirrorless, when I need to take photos and when I'm traveling. The safety payload for this tripod is 1.5 kilograms, so definitely not problem when I just mount the camera and one of, and one of the lenses on top. I only had one problem so far when I mounted my Blackmagic with the cage, the V-mount and the monitor, that's definitely more than 1.5 kilo. And the only problem I faced, because as you can see, I'm doing reviews videos, it was when I mounted the camera on top here and then I tried to tilt uh, the tripod down 
to film something on the table and that's when the handle and the ball were not strong enough to hold the camera. But once again, if you only have the camera and the lens, that's super fine. Let's talk about the adapter. That's kind of uh, interesting because it's completely different from anything I've seen before. This is the actual mount. You can open up this lever and now this tiny adapter will come out. It's a one quarter inch screw that of course you can screw under your camera and then once you've done that, you, you want to fit it inside this hole here and lock it with the lever at the back. It felt a bit weird actually in the beginning because the adapter is still loose inside the mount and you can actually lock it with this wheel on the side. You can tighten it up. I also want to show you something else I've done because I use the same camera on the tripod but also I need to switch sometimes very quickly to a Ronin S gimbal. So what I've done, I actually bought another quick release plate to put on top of the adapter. I'll show you quickly what I do. I actually screw the adapter in the plate here and mount it on top of the tripod, lock it in. This allows me to take my camera very quickly off the tripod and I have the same uh, plate on the running so I can just put my camera on the other plate and I'm done in literally five seconds. If you want to check and also buy this plate you can find it of course in the description tab. To give you a quick comparison, I used to use the Manfrotto MK Compact Advanced, which is actually a bit sturdier and, and stronger. The legs are exactly the same, but it's a bit heavier as well compared to this tripod. Also, the MK Advanced had a two handles head, which was a bit weird and you cannot really rotate, tilt and spin around the head as smoothly as with this uh, compact action. And even though the difference in price wasn't that much, still this tripod could match all my requirements. So I hope this video helped you in finding out and understanding if this tripod, the compact action by Manfrotto, is for you. If it did help you, please consider to subscribe and also share the video. It might help other friends and creatives out there. And I shall see you in the next video. God bless you. Memories fall up the road.